Good morning, good morning. So Jonathan and I are headed over to Eagle Ridge, the sweet corn operation. It's morning for you, but it is 8.35 in the evening here in Northeast Ohio. And that's when you pick corn, at night when it's cooler. And uh, we're gonna see the whole operation. I've never seen one of those oxbow corn pickers run, but I'm kind of excited to see it. So we're heading over here. We're gonna get some uh, footage of the corn picker running. And then at 2 a.m. they start sorting and tomorrow's their opening day. So I know they're gonna be a little on edge. Uh, seeing as this is their first day for picking, you know how it is. I've already talked to Nate and he said, yeah, I had a couple bearings I forgot to change that I knew I was gonna do after season. That sounds like every maple farmer, right? I'll get it after the season. Well, sometimes we don't. But uh, yeah, we're gonna head over there and um, get some footage for you. So Jonathan and I just got back from, well, the whole family. We just got back from Michigan and uh, I'll get some shots for you in another episode. Uh, took a family vacation, first one in like six years. And we went to South Haven, a town on Lake Michigan, went up north to Traverse City, um, got to jump in Lake Michigan, and then on our way back, put our feet in Lake Huron. I haven't done that yet, so I still have Superior and Ontario to get to. Um, I will be heading back to Michigan about 46 weeks to get some shots of a, um, make an episode about a orchard that makes hard cider. Uh, it's a company we've worked with in the past called Virtue Cider. Hoping to get there and um, in the next four to six weeks when they're harvesting, it'll be kind of cool to get some footage for you of apple harvesting and then pressing and how they do it. It's an impressive facility that was started by Greg Hall. His dad was the founder of Goose Island Brewing and then Greg is the inventor of Bourbon Barrel Age Beer, which was the inspiration for Bourbon Barrel Age Maple Syrup. Anyways, I think you'll like this episode. We'll catch you at the end. Jason, are you going to be up at 2 a.m. helping? Yes. I'll are you going to be up at 4 a.m. helping? Yeah. What is it we're going to be doing at 2 a.m.? Sorting corn. Sorting corn. Now, how many loads did you guys pick up today? Three. Three loads? There's, where are the loads at? There's one there. What is that? That's just a walking floor wagon. So that floor will actually move the corn onto the sorter? Yeah, there's okay. a PTO that spins that whole floor. All right, now we got another load where? Right over there on that tractor. Inside, so on the tractor and another, is that a walking yeah. floor wagon too? Yeah. And then okay. there's one in the picker. So there's one in the picker. Cool. All right, explain to me this uh, system you got over here. It's better that you're doing it than your dad, trust me. You know what's going on. Yeah, I do. 
So you got PTO driven? Yeah, with a big electric motor. So you're actually using a, a gas engine on there? No, it's an electric motor. Oh, really? All right. I'm going to tell him he's fired. Let's see, I got Grayson. I got Grayson. We're good. You're, you're fired. We're good. He's got this. So the electric motor actually will run this PTO here? Yeah. Okay. So the walking floor, that's going to take the core down corn down into here yeah, into that big belt. and then this thing's gonna do what it's gonna put it on another belt and then that puts it on the main sorting this is where you sort yeah everybody stands and probably shoots and you put all the bad corn on the shoots and it goes so i could even chopper. how long would it take for me to be good at sorting not too long well, not too long where's the where's the wash like the cooling process don't you have water or something you spray it down yeah. with we already did that you already did that yeah. all right so show me the sorting. So this is a conveyor here. Yeah. All the corn is this a here. belt? Yeah, it's a big belt. Okay. So the corn's going to go right up to there, plop onto there. What's that, blowers? Yeah, that's just for... Extra air. water. No, those are for air, just like to blow the little corn stalks and stuff off. I got you. All right. And then I see you got like a chute below. The chutes go off to a different belt that go the opposite way. Oh, so it's pulling the small stuff that way. Yeah. If you and that's the stuff the corn, that's the stuff the cows like. Yes. All right. And it goes into the chopper over here. All right, I'm going to try doing what you did. Watch your step. Yeah. That has a big chain belt on it that goes into a big silage chopper. Okay. And there's a dump trailer out there, but you can't see it. Okay. It's dark. So that's where it's going to get chopped. So it's going to basically the reject. They're going to hand sort, and it's going to go down through here, drop into here, and that's a big silage. Does that run off a of PTO as well? That's just big electric motor. On okay. Too. Cool. Cool. Nice. I think we got it, but I'm going to have you do the exact same thing. You got a nice setup in here, man. Thank you. It's a lot of uh, <laughs> trial and error measurements. No, I, I measured it. I knew exactly how it was going to fit. I knew I'd come down to like one inch on the side over there for that first belt coming in. It, it just squeezed in. So uh, it works out good how our setup is. Yeah, this is nice. Uh, yeah. So walking, that'll walk it in. So, you know, starting from scratch, we run the winch out to the back gate. And uh, it opens that gate just a little bit. That gate is super heavy with the corn load against it. Okay. Um, so that, with that PTO in there, we step on this pedal, and it brings just a little bit of corn out. So oh, okay. this belt will bring the corn this way, and we can kind of control the rate that we're sorting it. So if our line's full and we got, say, 15 people on it, we're going to run it real fast versus there's only six of us, which you had. You know, when the kids go back to school, we run it a lot slower. So... But this person here is the most important job. They're controlling the rate, and uh, this. So is this where that. is this where Grayson goes? No, this isn't Grayson's spot. Not yet. He's he's getting close. Who's, is this your spot? You this, control this it? my nephew's spot. Okay. Him, him and I make sure everything's running good here. So how long would it take me to be trained to sort? You know, it's it's probably like a couple hours. We can get you trained up. I got you. Yeah. Somebody's got to watch me and. Yeah. The, so we put the newest people down here. And the most experienced down to inspector number 12 and 13, we always get gotcha. cast at the end of the line. Because they're the ones that are making sure the last little pieces or anything outside the ordinary is getting pulled out. I got gotcha. you. Yep. So the boys are usually in the middle section because they're, you know, going on year three now. They're, you know, they they're getting up. Yeah. So that's, this is the Nate section, like <laughs> beginner. I, yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, I just kind of float around, see what people need and make sure everything's running smooth. Um. Also, monitoring the silage going out the back. Gotcha. Making sure we're hitting the wagon and um, it's not full. So tomorrow we'll probably have to go run and dump that mid-sorting. Gotcha. The variety, still, we're bringing in so much. But this should yield out, um, a, a good yield is two flat wagons. Okay. Should. So, you know, we've had some 
that area. One of these makes two flat wagons. Two flat wagons, keep them tall. Okay, and this is opening day for you tomorrow. Yeah. So Has it been stressful for you? I think I got like 70 new gray hairs just today <laughs> only. So, yeah. Um, we're, we're, I'd say, two days behind where I'd like to be. Um, so you're going to be working until 2 a.m. until they start sorting? Uh, no. Actually, that's why we started picking early tonight. I got Just you. in case we had any machine breakdowns or anything like that, um, which we had. We started off, you know, we got going there, and we had a couple of hydraulic issues. We fixed it real quick before we got to the field. My good buddy down there, he's a right-hand man, and along with my boys, uh, we got it up and running. Um, got to the field. There were our drivers today they hauled all the corn back and they pretty much are just uh keeping an eye on the picker it's nice to have somebody walk alongside it as i get going um these guys came back and then we drenched it with water so you can see the water dripping out of it um to cool it down yeah so the core of this just like mulch or anything will get hot so we soak it um they had they ran a two inch water line on it for about five minutes and it's ice cold um tap water they're running on it so good deal that's why it's running out like crazy but in the morning this will be cold evaporation will make the corn cold and uh, we'll be sorting and it'll be perfect keeps the house looking nice too so um you picked you're getting everything ready yep getting the sorters ready basically you've got corn staged for sorting and then 2 a.m start sorting yep you're going back out at four to pick once one of these are empty, right? Yeah, about four, I'll run out. We'll pull this out, we'll dump the machine, and I'll go run out and grab one more load full in the sweet corn picker. Just because okay. the so many people are waiting. The, this is our busiest day of the year coming up. Opening on, days day. tomorrow. Yep, so we hit that. This is like the first sap run for us. It is, yeah, it's exciting. This is, uh, this is our best first pick we've had so last year i was under the machine for probably two to three hours before we even gotcha um got a load in so this is exciting to be it's 9 30 i go get some sleep right you know so not too well bad. i'm gonna head out drop my son off and then i'll come back um like 1 30 or so just to stage everything so i'm not in your way but i'd love to take a ride out with you if okay. you're gonna yeah Take that yeah, oxbow we'll just, out. You know, we'll run everything in the morning, see how the loads go, and then uh, I'll be glad to take it. For sure. Out. All right, it's 2 a.m., and Jared and I are headed to Eagle Ridge. I didn't sleep. I was too excited. How about you, Jared? Did you sleep? I did not sleep. Are you excited? I'm so excited. Jared's going to be a corn sorter. He is like, I've always wanted to be a corn sorter. And I think what were your words? Come sort some corn city boy or something like that. Yeah. Is that what you said? Well, what did you actually say? I forget. It's too early. Too late. So we needed to be there at two, but Jared couldn't find the shoes. It was nothing about him procrastinating. He just couldn't find the shoes. So we're heading in and it's corn sorting time. And then about 4 a.m., I'm hoping Nate and I get to go out and harvest some more corn. So when we get there, it's gonna be sorting. It's probably gonna be chaos a little bit. I don't know. Usually the first time I start everything up, you know, the evaporator, the ROs, like nothing goes perfect, but we'll see. Maybe, they, maybe they're smarter than us maple farmers. Who knows? Oh, yeah. Everybody's sorting. Hey, this is my middle son, Jared.
switch, activates that motor, activates that gearbox, activates that gear, idler gear, reducer, reducer. That thing's gonna go pretty slow. So you got kind of a rhythm, you move around. I see you picking up corn. Yeah, just kind of check on everybody, make sure everything's running right. I like to jump down there because it's busy and I'm falling asleep. Sure, sure. I'm falling asleep if I go down there. All right, you're the DJ tonight. What's the deal? You got tunes coming for us? Uh, Nothing? You can't get it to hook up? Man. All right, give me your brother's names again. Grayson and Landon. Grayson and Landon. Grayson's the middle boy. Landon's the oldest. And your name? Easton. Easton. Easton, Grayson, Landon. So is it spelled normal, like E-A-S-T-O-N? How's Grayson spelled? I don't know. G-R-A-Y or G-R-E-Y? I think it's G-R-A-Y. G-R-A-Y? Okay. G-R-A-Y-S-O-N? Is Grayson out here? Yeah. In, right there. In the very corner. Oh, next to my son. All right. Where's Landon? Um, Landon's right there. Okay, so the tallest one's Landon. All right, Landon, I got a question for you, dude. All right. How do you spell your name? L-A-N-D-O-N. L-A-N-D-O-N. So it's yeah. normal. Cool. <laughs> now, how do you spell Grayson, though? I, I want to make sure I put it right. Is that G-R-A, G-R-E? Put it right down. G-R-E-Y-S-O-N. Okay. I'm no, right it's right, right here. Yeah. Oh, my name is Krista. K-R-I-S-T-A. Search the K and the A. Krista. Bam. Yep. Gotcha. Yeah. I'm glad you, I'm just glad you didn't ask me for Grayson. Right. Now you play baseball, right? No. No? He's a runner. I, I, yeah, all running. Look all at running? He's getting yeah. the link. Look at him. All right. Do you have any boys to play baseball or running? Uh, my son awake. Are you keeping your son awake? I got to keep my son awake. Okay. Yeah. Today? He's up. He's up. He's fine. Hey, for opening day, everyone's ready to roll. Like, come back. To I'm place. excited. A little while. And go I'm excited. Uh, you know, I couldn't sleep. I couldn't sleep either. I couldn't sleep. I'm I like, did. <laughs> no problem. You got Gary. You got Gary. Now he's home. Yeah. How's he doing now? Same. Yeah. Has he gotten any worse? Um, any better? Yeah. All right. All right. You've gotten better, I hear. Good job, Jared. How come you're letting some go by? And, like, how do you know which ones to do? Just doing what he does. Just doing what he does? As long as he's not a troublemaker, you'll be all right. So those blowers right there, they're just getting rid of leaves and stuff. Yeah, most of them. That's pretty smart. That's less you got to deal with. So where's it dump out of? Uh, be on the left side. The whole hopper picks up and dumps out. But... Are you serious? Huh. You're always battling the humidity, aren't you? Always. Yep. Yep. I made sure not to park behind you. That's a good idea. <laughs> Everybody's on break. Get back to work! <laughs> this thing's very long. Is it like 30 feet? I don't know. You don't want to take your driver's test in this thing.
I'm really glad that that wall held up there. Look at all these slackers. Slackers everywhere. Especially that one. You don't do anything. I'm filming. I'm the cameraman. Switch. No, I might have to. I, I get my hands dirty. Really? Yeah, I don't want my hands dirty. I have to wear gloves because of my baby soft skin. You don't have gloves on. I know because I'm not working. I'm making videos. Jared, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity. Obviously not if it's an annual thing. For you, it's a once in a lifetime opportunity. When was the last time you sorted corn? When's, la when's the next time I'm gonna sort corn? It's every four weeks. Every two weeks, I'm sorry. Every two weeks, dude. Every two weeks. Oh man, I'm trying to get these action shots, he don't mess around. He was Johnny on the spot, wasn't he? Look at all that corn. That's pretty important. That'll, that'll hurt your feelings. <laughs> yeah. There you go. There you go, man. <laughs> Is he going out to pick here shortly? Sweet. I'll bother him the whole time. <laughs> now, what's your name? Dustin. Dustin, I'm Nate. How many years have you been helping? Second year. Second year? Are you originally from this area? Yeah. You're an Ohio boy? Yep. Nice. I'm a Mecca boy. A what? A Mecca boy. Mecca? Mecca Township? Yep. Is that part of like Johnston? Like what school district's Mecca? Maplewood. Maplewood. Johnson, Wood, Maplewood. Okay. There it is. Let's see, let's go reverse here. I know there's probably headlights. There is no reverse. <laughs> 